For those of you that are wondering why I sound funny, it's because I'm from South Africa. Uh, I was born and raised in South Africa, and that's why I have an accent. And to those South Africans that are wondering why my accent's not as strong anymore, it's because the last 10 years I've been playing professional baseball in the States and I've had to water down the accent so people can understand me and I can have actual conversations without them looking at me funny. So that's why I sound funny. I'm on my way to grab some breakfast supplies for tomorrow. Since I'm trying to sleep in on off day and not grab breakfast at the hotel, so I'm gonna need something to get some breakfast and the best place to do that is Family Model 7-Eleven. Good morning. Uh, it is February 15th. Uh, today's an off day. We were supposed to have our first spring training game yesterday, but it got rained out. So tomorrow would be the first game. Then I will be pitching the 17th, so in two days time. So even though it's an off day, I'm gonna head to the field soon and get a little bit of throwing in. Just move the arm around so I don't have a full off day before I throw in a game. So yesterday I had to go to Family Mart and get breakfast for today because I wanted to sleep in a little bit and miss the breakfast at the hotel. So I ended up getting some full yogurts and then these things are absolutely amazing. Pancakes with maple syrup and butter. I'll show you. They are honestly my favorite snack from the convenience stores here. And after I'm throwing, just come back, just relax while they recover, chill. That's what we're gonna do for lunch. And that's pretty much it. So you get two pancakes inside and there it is. <laughs> Good morning, it is February 17th. Today is game day. First game of the year for me. We are on the road. We travel to Naha in Okinawa, about 30 minutes from here. And we are gonna play the Yumiri Giants, Tokyo Giants. I got two innings today. So I'll be the first out of the bullpen. Started goes about three, I got two. A lot earlier than we usually are used to playing. So yeah, it's exciting. I'm ready to get going and start facing some hitters against com competitions. It's a colder day today, windy. So see how it goes, it's been raining. So hopefully the rain holds out. Other than that, it's game day. Let's see, do you think he hits his head again on the way in? Or has he learned his lesson? Alright, just got back from the game. I went nine innings, tie game. No one scored, no runs. Pitched two innings, one hit, one more, two strikeouts. It's pretty good. First inning, a little rough with the command and strike zone. Uh, took me a while to find it. Second inning was much better. A lot more, lot more strikes. Good strikes, good movement on my fastball sinker. Was sitting 92, 93, so that's good. Now I'm gonna take a bath, soak the body, shower, dinner, and we'll go practice tomorrow. I'll probably get some video and I can show you some video from the game. But yeah, it was good. Good first game, happy about it. It was cold the day today, it's chilly and windy, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Very happy with the first game. Okay, so I got my video from yesterday pitching. I don't necessarily like what I'm seeing. Yeah, the results were good, but I'm searching for proper good mechanics. And I'm not seeing it. So I'm trying to throw the split. Here it is. And that's what I do every time. Up and away, up and away. I think I throw another one. Might break his back. Pulling off with my front side really bad. And as you can see that. So 
So, got some more stuff to work on. Next game I'm pitching is on the 23rd against the Dragons, Chiniti Dragons. And uh, I'll be starting that game, go about three innings. Yeah, so it gives me about five days right now to figure out my stuff, work on my mechanics, get it all synced up. Uh, got an off day tomorrow, so give the body a little bit of a rest. Rest the arm, then ballpen right after the off day, two days, pitch. So that's my plan. It's our home spring training stadium. It's our lunch for today. Cafeteria. I'm gonna introduce you to one of the translators, Kimmy. I'm gonna give him a surprise attack. All right, Kimmy, it's time to say hello. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. <laughs> How long have you been working with Clark? This is my uh, 15th year. 15? Yes. How was your English your first year? Uh, it was all right. I think. <laughs> okay. Have you ever wondered how to know if it's 5.30 in the afternoon without a watch in Okinawa? Don't worry, I got you covered. And that is how you know it's 5.30 in the afternoon, every day. When we get back from the field, we dress in our uniforms, this is how we do the laundry, take all that dirty stuff, throw it in. The bag. Name and number. Just like that. And that's it. Let's tell you a quick story of how I became a starter now. I came to Japan last year as a reliever. I ended up making the open air roster as the team's closer. And then I sucked. And I blew it and lost the closing job. And then I became a regular reliever up and down. About a month left to go with the season, they said, all right, we want to convert you to a starter. And I didn't know how to feel about it. I was very skeptical. I mean, I only pitched more, two innings max this whole time last year, but did it anyway. And then my second start, I pitched five innings already. So things escalated real quick. And then after that, I was going five, six innings every time after that. Ended up doing well as a starter. And then coming back this year, I'm starting out as a starter as well, again. So like I said, I'm starting a couple of days, 23rd, against Chinichi Dragons at their place. They actually played a place called the American Village. It's pretty cool, it's like right on the water. It's a full like shopping center of American restaurants and stuff. It's a pretty sweet setup, right by the base. So I got them a couple of days, got three innings against them. First start of the year, pretty pumped. That'll probably be my last start for the rest of spring here in Okinawa because we only have three games left after today. We only played eight games the whole spring here in Okinawa. But then we go back home and start preseason games and play some more. And then we'll see where it goes. Um, season starts March 26th, about a month away. So I'm trying to make that open day roster you know, as a starter. And then, the cool thing is, if I do that, then I would have last year made it as a closer and this year made it as a starter. So two opposite end roles. And let's hope I do better as a starter than I did as a closer, because that didn't go well. And then you might also be wondering, like, what the heck is a South African doing playing baseball? And that's a pretty good question. Um, I don't know the answer to that. But there are not a lot of us. I mean, I was the first South African to ever be drafted and the first South African to ever pitch in the major leagues, and then the first South African to ever pitch in the MPB Japanese League. So if you're still being the first or something, that means there ain't much of them around. So there's not a lot of us around, but um, obviously I couldn't play the main sport of South Africa at the time, rugby, because looking back at some pictures and videos of myself in high school, I was skinny and small. Like, I couldn't believe I could even walk. That's how skinny I was. So playing rugby was out of the question. I was just gonna get destroyed. I had soccer on the table, but I chose baseball. To come to live in, live in America, and now I have an American wife. 
and living in America, so baseball was the right choice.